I'm in a bit of a dilemma here. Is it uh, right to help a person who has done nothing but cause trouble and pain to you? I know it's kind of a good thing since it's me showing that I'm a better person or me taking the high road. But what if doing so causes problems in your family? Would you still help the person who has caused you pain? Knowing it's going to make your family mad. Let me explain, right? My name's Ari, I'm 35, female, and I'm kind of struggling with a decision I've recently made. I live with my husband and work as a writer. I am fortunate enough to have a great life with a great partner and a happy family that actually supports me. The only thing missing was my sister, who came back two weeks ago and shook everything up. My childhood was great, and the only bad thing about it was my sister. I don't mean to say it was perfect and my sister was the devil or something, it's just that I've always been the type of person who was happy with what I had. But my sister was the complete opposite, and she always hated me for some reason. My parents were great. So the only problem I can remember in my life is my sister, Helen, or Hell, as I used to call her. Genuinely, I gave her the name because to me, she was Hell. Also, I want to remind you guys that I did not hate her or anything like that. I love her, as she was my little sister. I don't remember what happened between us that led her to hate me, but after a certain point, no matter how much I tried, I could not get her to love me. Maybe it was jealousy or something like that, I don't even know anymore, because she was indeed the jealous type. She was always mad when I achieved something and wanted the same thing I got. She took my stuff all the time, and most of the time I did not even complain because I loved her and wanted her to be happy. But one day, she took it a little too far, when she stole a medal I received in school for winning a drawing competition. I thought I had enough, I told my parents, uh, and when they found the medal in her room, they were pretty mad at her. Now, this incident did not help with her hate towards me, even though it was her fault later when I tried to reconcile and apologize, even though it was not my fault, she just pushed me away. Believe me, all I wanted from her was love. I really wanted us to have a good relationship. And the more I grew, the more I tried. But no matter how much I tried, it did not matter to her. She was weak in studies, and my parents gave her a lot of crap for that. And everyone in the family compared her to me, which, as you can imagine, made our situation worse. And one day, we had this huge fight uh, that kind of ended everything. I was about to leave for college, and I found out that my sister had caused my breakup. And we got into this massive fight. She had just persuaded my boyfriend to leave me by making him nervous since I was leaving and had lied to him about stuff. When I confronted her, she told me that we were going to break up either way, and she was just helping me. I don't really remember the things that I told her that day, but I poured my heart out. I do remember telling her that I had done everything I could to have a relationship with her, but she had always only hurt me, and now I'm done. I told her that I've had enough of her and I wasn't going to try anymore, and she said that it would make her very happy. After that, I only saw her when I came back home. After college, I got a job and moved out, and that's where I met my now husband, Joseph. A few years after we met and started dating, we got married and have been living a happy life since. But it did not go well for my sister. She dropped out of college and refused to work, and my parents tried everything to help her. But she kept doing the wrong things. Then she started dating this guy, Brad, who was a gambler and all in all not a great guy. Our parents hated him and tried their best to protect Helen, but just like always, she refused to listen. Despite our parents begging her not to, she continued dating him. She never stopped and she ended up falling deeply in love with him. My mom was so desperate that she even asked for my help, but what could I do? She never listened to me in the first place and we never talked anymore. Don't get me wrong, I still cared about her, but I also knew that she did not give a darn about me. About a year after that, my parents' greatest fear came true when my sister told them that she wanted to get married to him. My parents refused and told her that if she did, then they would simply kick her out of the family. But my sister did it anyways and even stole some jewelry from my parents and ran away with Brad, believing that it was her happy ever after. She forgot to account for something, see... Life rarely gives anyone a happy ending. After she ran away, my parents and the whole family were understandably mad. Months later, when she tried to make contact, they refused. After that, I never heard anything of her for these few years, and life was great. My parents slowly became happy again, and even though I did worry about her sometimes, I didn't really miss her. She did not act like my sister anyway, so it was not that hard. 
But two weeks ago, everything changed. My mom called me and told me that my sister had been trying to contact them for over a day now and wanted to warn me to not pick up. I wasn't worried because I knew she wasn't going to call me anyways. I knew I was the last person she would ever think of, so I decided to forget about it, and I did. But a few days later, out of nowhere, Helen showed up at my front door and surprised the crap out of me. She looked stressed, and as soon as I opened the door, she begged me to let her come inside and talk. You know, I wasn't going to send her out without listening because I didn't hate her. Since I didn't know anything, I asked her why she was here, and then she told me that Brad had left her. I immediately believed her because she looked heartbroken and depressed. She explained that he had taken everything from her and ran when the debt got too much. She had to run, too. She said that even though she had a hard life with him, she was ready to face it with him. But he had given up. She was crying as she told me how hard it's been for her. And, you know, I felt bad. Helen apologized for everything that she's done to me and tells me that all these years she spent regretting driving me away and that she really needed a sister on her side. She then told me that she had already gone to my parents and the other family members for help, but everyone had refused. Some did not even give her a chance to talk. Everyone told her that she does not deserve what's happening to her and she should live in regret. She told me that our parents kicked her out as she begged them for help. After she told me everything and apologized many, many times, she said that she always wanted to work on our relationship and tried to leave. When I asked her why she wasn't asking me for help, she said that she had not even expected me to let her in, and that much was enough. She said that she had done too much for me to expect anything and that I had already done a lot by hearing out her struggle and agreeing to rebuild the relationship. So she gave me her contact and left. After that, I called my parents, who were mad at me for even suggesting that they help her. They said that they and the rest of the family had learned their lesson, and they were never going to help her ever again. That bridge was burned. This left me in a really bad position because I felt for my sister. She was the worst point of her life uh, right there and had literally no one to turn to. I spoke with my husband, and after thinking it over, yeah, we thought it over for a few days. We decided that we were going to help Helen. He and I both agreed that it was the right thing to do and that during these years she was grown. Obviously, this did not go well with my family, especially my parents, who almost begged me not to do this. But I did it anyways, and she moved in a week ago. She was very happy and told me that she was not expecting me to help out all the people. She said that she was going to feel bad about everything she did for the rest of her life and would try to make it up to me and repay me for everything I've done. We've been slowly rebuilding our relationship, but in the process, I feel like I'm breaking mine with my family. Everybody's mad at me, and all of them want me to do one thing. Kick her out! You know, my parents are giving me the silent treatment, and it's making me feel really bad. So, I wanted to ask you guys, am I doing the wrong thing here? Am I not right in helping her, because I think I am? Please give me some advice, people, I beg you! Update number one. Hey guys, it's been a few months since I posted and unfortunately things have not gone well on my side. I wish I had listened to my family and some of you guys who told me not to do it. I was wrong about my sister and I have now understood that some people never change. After everything I did for her, she has still gone ahead and ruined everything I have. But I can't say it's entirely her fault because there's another involved. Let me explain. After a few weeks of my sister moving in, I was feeling pretty confident inside of my choice because of how she was acting. Well, she made me believe that she had completely changed, and I fell for it honestly. I think I was just too desperate to have a relationship with my sister, so she easily tricked me. I don't really know what she wants, but I surely know that she'll still hate me because nobody else would do what she is doing. Even after a month, my parents kept trying. I kept refusing to throw her out, and they had to give up. They told me that I could keep her, but refused to come to my place as long as she was there. Let me guys give you some advice. Listen to your parents, they do know best. Then two months passed without anything happening, and I was very happy with how things worked out. My husband liked my sister, and she wasn't causing any problems. But as soon as I found out, she wasn't just sitting around and doing nothing. A week ago, I had to leave my office for some urgent work, and I happened to run into a co-worker of my husband. 
He asked me how Joseph was doing, and I told him that he was fine. Well, this confused him. And he said that Joseph has been on leave multiple times these few months due to an illness and that he's on leave today, too. Well, I told him, well, that's not possible, as Joseph has not missed a day in the office and he was not sick at all. The co-worker looked confused at first, but then burst out laughing and told me that Joseph had put me up to it, right? He told me that I was just like him and told me to tell him that he was missing him in the office. The confidence with which the co-worker told me this information confused me, because this is not a prank. It meant that my husband was lying to me for some reason. So, without calling, I went to our house. Normally, I would always come home later than my husband, so I always called him first. It was really scary coming home, as I was constantly telling myself that it wasn't real. It wasn't real. It wasn't real. When I didn't see his car, I was relieved. But I wanted to check anyways. My sister also should have been outside, but her car was there, so I slowly went in. The sounds as I heard and sigh, ugh, right when I entered that house scared me, as it was my sister and it sounded a lot like some passionate affair. I kept telling myself that she was just sleeping with a date or something, but I slowly noticed that it was coming from our room. So I went there and peeped through the crack at the door to find the worst fear come true. My hubby, sleeping with my sister, and as soon as I saw this, my heart broke. I tried to control the urge to not throw up, and I ran out of the house as quietly as I possibly could. As much as I didn't want to believe this, it's true. My sister and my husband have been sleeping together for a month. How could she do this? After everything I did for her, and how could my husband do this to me? You know, those are the questions I've been asking myself because I don't know what to do about this. It's been a week and I refuse to believe that my husband would cheat on me like this. I'm sure my sister made him do this or something like that. But I also feel like I'm just lying to myself because how could anyone force him to sleep with me? Please, guys, give me a bit of advice. Update number two. It's been over two weeks since my last update and I've not yet confronted my sister or my husband about what they're doing behind my back. Well, to be honest, I'm not going to either because I have nothing to discuss anymore. But I'm not going to just let it go either. It's been very hard to act normal around them for this long, knowing what I know, and I had to really stop myself from just slapping both of them and throwing them out. A few days after my last update, I decided to first see if my husband is a victim or is actually involved in all this, and I also wanted to collect proof of everything. So I set up a hidden camera and audio recordings and even took a picture. Believe me, it was the hardest thing to do. I gave my sister a place when she had nothing, and I loved my husband more than anything. Seeing them betray me again and again kind of killed me from the inside. It's an inexperience I would not wish upon anyone. When I listened to the recording in a week, I found out that my husband was not a victim at all, and it was very... Uh, his idea, he was into it. He had cheated on me with others as well, but my sister was more of a permanent thing for him. I even heard him tell her how he liked her a lot more than me and wished that he would have met me before. I know it was stupid to think that Joseph could have been innocent in this, but my life was crumbling and I wanted to hold on to something. But after that went away, it left me depressed and angry. You know how they say there's no wrath like a woman scorned? Well, I guess that's because I immediately started planning on taking revenge, instead of confronting them. It's been a few days since I started the plan, and I have a pretty good way, but I'm not really sure if it's going to work. Mainly because to do it, I will need help of Brad. Yes, him, the guy who left my sister. The thing is, throughout all these months my sister has lived with me, the one truth I've seen in her is that she loves him desperately. That cannot be denied. And the voice recordings obviously go about proving it. She still wants to live with him after everything that he's done. Well, love uh, can be really cruel sometimes, right? Well, in her case, it's more deserved because she's a terrible human being, and I intend on using that love against her. Another thing I'm sure about is that Brad will do anything for money. He left her for it, and from what I've learned all of these years, he's always chasing money. I knew I could convince him, but the problem was that I had no way of contacting him as he had vanished from his home. But then I remembered that my mom had Brad's brother's contact information, and I was sure that he knew where his brother was, so I lied to mom and got the contact from her and called him. He, thinking that I was helping my sister, said that he had no knowledge of his brother's whereabouts. 
and I told him that I didn't want to find him. I just wanted to contact him because I needed him to do something for me, and I was even willing to pay a good amount of money. I gave him a voice recording of me explaining everything and told him to please pass it on to his brother, which I'm sure that he's done by now. I'm fully sure that in a few days he's going to contact me and he'll surely... He's going to help because of the money. And I don't mean the money I'm going to pay him. That's just a small advance because I have further plans. But you guys are going to have to wait to hear those. I'll explain every single thing in my next update. Update number three. Ugh. Brad kind of scared me because it took him a week to call me and agree to everything. Sorry about the delay. I know it's been over a month since my last update, but we had to take our time. Now we're finally in the end game, and things have gotten very, very interesting if you ask me. So, after a week of waiting, I was ready to give up on this plan and had started making another plan. I was going to tell my parents everything and was going to host a party and expose both my husband and my sister in front of everyone, including my in-laws, and kick them both out. But one day, Brad called and asked me how we were going to pull this off, and if he agreed. I told him that I had thought of everything and just wanted him to say yes. And so, he did. A few days later, we met, and I discussed everything with him. I guess I should also tell you guys what the plan is. So, I had planned on getting Brad to come here and make contact with my sister. Now, I was not giving my sister her love back or anything because Brad did not want to be with her anymore. I just wanted to use her through Brad because I knew that she would do anything that he said. But I also knew that my sister was not stupid, and she was not going to immediately forgive Brad, and fortunately, I found a great way. So Brad made contact, and my sister was obviously mad at him for running away. He told her to meet him without telling us, and that he was going to explain everything. My sister came, and he told her a fake story I created... He told her that because of his loans, he had gotten on the bad side of a few people, and one day he found out that they were out to hurt him and his family. He had no other way but to leave my sister to keep her safe from these people as they followed him, and he had to lay low. With tears streaming down, he told her that he did not tell her because he knew that she would try to help and he could not see her get hurt. Even though it was hell, this was better. My fake movie plot worked wonderfully, and my sister bought his every word. She was even crying by the end. She then started apologizing to him, saying that she ended up making a mistake because she was mad at him. I wasn't anticipating that she was going to confess just like that, but she made it easy. She told him about sleeping with my husband, and Brad acted like he was heartbroken. She promised him that she would do anything to make it right, and he told her to stay with us for a few weeks as after that they would run away together. My sister was very happy, but she was also feeling guilty for cheating on Brad. Well, a week later, I asked Brad to tell her that he needs to do something for him, and she happily agreed. Brad asked her to take all the money Joseph had saved and give him uh, caught sleeping with her in bed in front of me. Obviously, Helen was very hesitant to do this, but Brad convinced her by making her feel guilty about cheating and said that this was a punishment for the both of them. So now my sister is preparing to steal from my husband and get both of them caught cheating, after which she plans on running away. But that's not going to work, is it? Well, I'll let you guys know what happens next. Final update. Hey guys, so it's actually been a whole month since my update, and let me just continue from where I left off. So after Brad convinced my sister, she started planning a week later and told him that it was ready. She took the money from my husband and gave it to Brad, and he told her that he was waiting to take her from him. Obviously, it was a lie. As soon as Brad got the money, he gave me a call, and we split the money equally. And he vanished again. I have to respect it. He didn't even want to see what happens. Man only cared about the green. The next day, I came back early from work because of a text I got from my sister. When I went into my room, I was shocked to see my husband taking my lingerie bodysuit off of my sister. I immediately start recording and acting like I would have normally if I had not known anything beforehand. I screamed at my husband and told my sister. I genuinely believed her. Honestly, I'll tell you, I was feeling bad for doing all this, but when I saw how she acted, I didn't feel bad. She literally had no regrets of her actions, and she did not care about me or my husband at all, and probably only did this to pass the time. My husband, on the other hand, was begging and pleading me to give him a chance, and said that he was mistaken. 
but I just kicked them both out and asked him to never show his face again. At that point, my sister grabs her stuff and happily left without even turning back. After that, she left my husband and went to meet up with Brad and have a happy life. I told my in-laws and my parents what I saw and sent them the proof. My in-laws were so mad that they cut off Joseph and as soon as he went home, they kicked him out and told him how big of a mistake he made. So somewhere around that time, he realized that my sister had taken his money and I wished I was there to see his reaction. Coming back to my sister, she did not find her husband but only a note waiting for her that said that he was done with her and didn't love her. It didn't explain anything else other than the fact that he was leaving her again. To my surprise, my sister came running back to me and starts to beg me for help. So I took her in and told her how everything was part of my plan and how I gave her a glimpse of the life that she wanted just to take it away. And oh, she was mad. I've never seen her so mad, but as soon as I finished explaining, I kicked her out and she had to leave. You know, it was really fun making her mad and I genuinely have zero regrets about what I did. I think both of them deserved it.